Wow, top trainer and the trainer of Daniel Dubois, Don Charles is with Simon, myself and uh, Spencer Oliver. And uh, if this is anything go by today, some of the messages that are coming in about tomorrow's fight over in Riyadh, uh, tomorrow it's going to get mind-blowingly busy. Uh, Don, what about some of this? I mean, I'm looking at some of the messages. Some are going one way, some are going the other. Um, I'm listening to Don Charles. Going to have to switch you lot off because uh, for even considering that AJ might lose this is absolutely ludicrous. The fact is, Fury isn't as good as you all think he is, and AJ is better than you all think he is. And there's another one, Lee and Star Bridge, who's a big listener. No disrespect, guys. Uh, Simon and Spencer are over-egging the heavyweight boxers here. MMA fighters punch hard. They punch to destroy. It only takes one right. from Nganu, and AJ's gone. <laughs> Well, that first person was that your mate? <laughs> the first I'm, person. I'm doing the precise opposite. <laughs> I don't reckon everybody boxes at all. But everybody's got the view done, haven't they? Most definitely, everyone's got an opinion. Like I said, uh, it is a very intriguing fight, as we all uh, have agreed. And I uh, can't wait. Um, yeah. What What if Ngannou gets a thunderous shot in early? What well, might we see? What happens is a knockout. What happens is a knockout, and when you undress it all, all the technique and everything, yeah. it's a fight. Yes. Between two men. Yes. Right, so has Ngannou got a chance? Of course he's got a big chance. This guy is a phenomenal puncher. Yeah. He really is. And you know the fight business inside out, Don. If AJ does lose, what what would that mean for him? Well, he'd have to regroup. You know, we, again, I'm not a loser's mentality. We make too much about losing right. in, in boxing. Right. Yeah. MMA, UFC people, they lose. You dust yourself off. You go, obviously it's going to set him back. God forbid, should he lose, it will set him back with his plans of becoming a sure. three-time world sure. champion. Sure. Um, yeah, life carries on and he regroups and comes again. Also on the undercard, Joseph Parker, who w w raised a few eyebrows last time out with Deontay Wilder, yeah. Simon, in against Zhili Zhang. How will this play out? Love this fight. Absolutely. This, this for me, is the fight of the night. On uh, Zhili Zhang, he's the, as we saw against Joe Joyce, he's, he's big, he's strong, he's got quick hands. Yes, he's got slow feet, but he's got very quick hands and his timing is impeccable. And, and as we saw against Joyce, you make the mistake and you get taken out. Joe Joyce, is, you know, was one of those guys that everybody expected could take the shots and just go through him. Zhang proved that he's got that power to take any heavyweight out. And I think looking at Joseph Parker and his performance against Joe, um, Deontay Wilder, you look at that and go, that was a brilliant performance. He was, you're right what you say, Simon, he was patient. He took the two opportunities when he had to. He sat in the pocket, he rolled, you know, and he met fire with fire. But Zele Zhang, for me, is a guy that you can't make any sort of mistakes with, can't get too greedy, can't sit there too long with him. And I worry that Parker coming off the back of that victory over Wilder will have that confidence to sit there too long with Zhang. And for me, I, I, I think Zhang starts a favourite. Yeah, for me, I second that opinion. Um, if I was to, again, choose who I believe, it's only an opinion that will be victorious. I would say Zhili Zhang, um, the most avoided heavyweight currently. Um, very savvy, a big, he's a big man, a big southpaw who's very, his IQ is very, very good. It's very smart. It's smart at what people think it is. It puts punches together mm. in combination, brilliant combinations. And also, if I can also mention his coach, which Sean George, um, mm. it doesn't get much mention. This guy is a fantastic, brilliant coach, but nobody ever talks about him. He, I do. Okay. He, he <laughs> yeah, trained no, the well Chinese done. Olympic well team, didn't exactly. he? That's how he met yeah, Zeli Zhang. Exactly. Yeah. So you've got a guy, a coach, again, who's very, yeah. very, very experienced. Simon, your IQ is pretty good. What Are you in Camp Zhang? No. I think Parker's got the IQ and the nous and the trainer to overcome it. I think, you know, I don't know what Don thinks about the fight that Zhang had against Filip Hergovic. We're building Zhang up like we built Joe Joyce up. Everybody, mm -hmm. everyone tipped Joe Joyce to deal with Zhili Zhang until they didn't. And now Zhili Zhang's got at his status of, because he's an avoided fighter, his record is a great record. He's lost one fight, but he's not fought that many elite fighters. He beat think, Hergovic. He beat Hergovic, so, he beat Hergovic, he beat Hergovic in my opinion. I, I, so do I. Okay. But, but I, it, was, it was nip and tuck. It wasn't a cut and dry decision. No, it decision. wasn't, but he, he I, beat Hergovic. I, I agree, I agree. Opinion, I, think, yeah. I think he beat Hergovic. But the point yeah. is, is that he's got a loss on his record and it was nip and tuck. It wasn't uh, you know, a, 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 a unilateral decision in terms of the outcome. I think that Joe Parker, having been a world champion and having the brains... To, to work out what he needs to do has the ability to execute it. Mm. If he keeps out of range, takes him down the track, and helps him helps him gas at the end of the fight, I think Parker will win on points. Don, Love, what, what about your fight. fighter? Potentially. Daniel Dubois, your fighter, Don. Um, no fight on the horizon for him, or is there? Um, no, we're in training. Uh, I'm not at liberty to disclose uh, who and when. It'll be soon, that's all you need to know. Um, 
there is a fight on the horizon, but I honestly put my hand on my heart. I don't know who we don't mm. know who it is. Mm. At this okay, point. Uh, Daniel's ready to go though. We're we're ready. Um, when we're given a date, then you you fine tune it for that date. Mm. But we're good. He's in the gym every day. I mean, ha- what's his mindset? You know, very very po- good. Post too sick. Post everything. Very 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 good. He's maturing every day. Uh, People haven't seen nothing yet um, from that Miller fight. We use that momentum, both physically, mentally. He's grown. He's really matured. He's, every day we're seeing this guy like a flower blossoming in the gym. Don, just give us this one. There's a group of heavyweights out in Saudi Arabia right now. The big heavyweights, the elite ones that we're talking about, all seem to be boxing each other. Daniel Dubois is in that mix. Uh, Will it be one of those guys? It'd be uh, one of the top guys at the moment, yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. I saw what you did there, Spencer. Yeah, that was good. Pause. I saw you almost falling <laughs> under questioning. He always tries to catch me. Out. I was. I, I saw you struggling, Jim. So I thought, you know. <laughs> fi- finally, a point that one of the listeners is making. Guys, love the show. Love the chat. I just want to say that if Joshua loses tomorrow, boxing is tarnished forever. Is that right? No, no, no. Of no. course not. No, of course not. Hell no. Why are you laughing? Because I think you've got to defend your own pitch. No. If a guy can walk in from another discipline who hasn't fought for 18 months, has had one fight with a jaded Tyson Fury and can take the two top heavyweights in the division besides Usyk and get outcomes into him. It says something more about boxing mm. than it does, does about MMA. Mm. Can we just mention as well, there's another great fight on that bill yeah. for the WBC featherweight title. Nick Ball is challenging Ray, Ray Vargas, Vargas yeah, and that's yeah, a great fight. It's yeah. sort of gone under the radar because of the, the sure. big fights are on there, but that is a fantastic fight. So good luck to Nick Ball as well Indeed. on Friday night.